So today I'm going to teach you something pretty pretty cool. You might not notice this or you might know this already. So let's just stay tuned and see if you know this feature. So right now we're going to go into the Wi-Fi session and we're going to hold this button right there. And then at the bottom here, we're going to go into details. Okay, we're going to go right into details. So when you go into details, you notice there's actually a three dot. Check your phone, you might see this three dot right there. We're gonna go into the three dot and then you can see intelligent Wi-Fi. When you go into intelligent Wi-Fi, there's actually a lot of things in here that you might want to know about your own Wi-Fi. So we're gonna go all the way down here. You might see connectivity lab. If you don't have this, make sure you go this right here, okay, intelligent Wi-Fi. And then just keep tapping this until it set that like, oh, the lab is sh shows up. And then you have to go back out and then go back in again and then go to intelligent Wi-Fi. You should see your lab is open already. And this connectivity lab shows that what type of Wi-Fi are you using? Are you using Wi-Fi 4? Are you using Wi-Fi 5? Or are you using Wi-Fi 6? And in addition, what kind of gigahertz that you're using right now? So we're gonna go in there and then we're gonna tell we're gonna see that if you go right here, it shows you how many hours you've been using the Wi-Fi. But if you go down right down here, it shows you so much details about your own Wi-Fi. It shows that how many minutes that you're using the gigahertz, how many minutes you're using the five gigahertz and six gigahertz. This 2.4 gigahertz, I was connecting with my wireless uh, light bulb. That's why it was four minutes. So that's why it's using 2.4 gigahertz because it's the, the light bulb, the wireless light bulb. But usually, the normal is you should be using 5 gigahertz by this time at this year okay now at the bottom here you can see wi-fi 4 wi-fi 5 and wi-fi 6. so if you can see right now my home wi-fi i'm using wi-fi 4 and almost 100 percent i'm using wi-fi 6. you can see that right right there now this is the most important right here unused or unsecure. Right now, you want to go into unsecure. When you go into the unsecure, these are the Wi-Fi that is not secure. That means that they can hack your system if you actually do not protect your Wi-Fi. I'm gonna show you later how you're gonna protect your Wi-Fi when you're in the public. But right now, you can see there is so many Wi-Fi that is unsecure. If it's not if it's unsecure, you might want to check uh, your system. Do you want to connect this or just use your own data? Okay. Now let's get back out, and then right at the bottom here, so you can see home Wi-Fi inspections. So if you are concerning your own Wi-Fi at home, you might want to check this out. If you press start right here, they can actually start detecting your own Wi-Fi. Right at here, it will show you your own Wi-Fi, how, what is the status right here. If it's like negative 25, negative 23, and 35, that means it's doing a very, very good job, okay? But if it's like a little bit higher, like negative 70, negative 78, those numbers, you don't want to have that. You want to around this range, okay? So, and then you press next at the bottom, and then press next, and then start basically it will show you how is your wi-fi some people when they live in the concrete their wi-fi could be really really low so you want to see your bar okay you can see right now the bar is pretty pretty high it's almost like at the top okay and my wi-fi is actually down here which means that it's doing a pretty pretty good job so if i go closer it should be all the way to the top but if I'm upstairs, let's just say I'm living in a house and then I'm in the concrete, then it could be a little bit lower. So now you can see the bar is going up and down and you want to double check, is it the Wi-Fi having a problem and things like that. If it's like all the way down here, then you should really be careful. At the bottom here, it shows you what is your status, okay, at the bottom. And you want to have 5G. You don't want to using 2.4, okay? You want to do, use 5G most of the time, 
okay and this is how you can tell if your Wi-Fi is solid are you paying for good Wi-Fi or are you paying with a really really bad Wi-Fi so you want to check this out and this one can go forever if you want you, you want to take a look this look at this for like maybe five minutes ten minutes this won't stop it will just keep on going and going and going and you can walk around the house and see which where, uh, where in your house has a dead spot you want to check that out okay so when you press done we're going to go exit if you go back out, we want to, I want to show you Wi-Fi developer option, okay? Wi-Fi developer options, okay? Wi-Fi developer options. You want to tap on that. And now you want to see your status for your Wi-Fi. Nearby Wi-Fi information, so you can see that. Now you tap on that. Now you can see this is a graph where you at right now. And this shows you which Wi-Fi is stronger around your area. Of course, if you're at home, your Wi-Fi should be at the top. So you can see my Wi-Fi is at the top right there. And then you can see by the, uh, if you tap your own, so you can see is the best. You see the dot right there? That means it's part of the best. And then now you can see, just look around and see which area has the best Wi-Fi, okay? And that's it. If you're in the public, this is actually pretty good information to know. If you haven't subscribed my channel yet, please do so. And I hope this video helps you to identify are you using a good Wi-Fi or not. Stay tuned for my next video. Thank you very much and have a nice day. Bye-bye. Peace out.